This weekend, number three seeded Holy Cross takes on number six seeded Mercyhurst in Atlanta Hockey quarterfinal action. Finishing the regular season with a 2 0 sweep over Army, the Crusaders secured home ice advantage in the quarterfinals and a first round bye. This year's quarterfinals are a rematch of last year's quarterfinal series between Holy Cross and Mercyhurst that ended 2 1 in favor of the upper seeded Mercyhurst. The Crusaders secured the three seed in the tournament, a first round bye, and quarterfinal home ice after finishing the regular season 19, 12, and 3 overall and 15, 9, and 3 in Atlantic Hockey. Senior Kyle Fletcher leads the team with 26 points, and senior Brandon Nunn holds the team high 15 goals this season. Sophomore goalie Matt Ginn has tended the team with its second in D1 program history 18 wins and an all-time record of 905 saves in the current season. In the last five games, the Crusaders came out strong for a 4-0-1 finish in the regular season. The team hopes this positive momentum will carry them through the quarterfinals for a series win over Mercyhurst. I know uh, coming off those, off those weekends, we were pretty proud of how we uh, had played those uh, last five games, so I think uh, we're brewing with confidence. It was nice to string a few wins together, and I think uh, especially after this weekend off, it's, uh, we're just chomping at the bit to get back after it. The Mercyhurst Lakers enter the quarterfinal series with a record of 16, 15, and 5 overall and 12, 11, and 4 in Atlanta Hockey as the sixth seed in the tournament. They defeated Army in the first round of the playoffs in two games, scoring eight goals while only allowing three. In the regular season, the Lakers tied the season series with the Crusaders 1-1. One one. Heading the Laker offense, sophomore forward Matthew Zay has tallied 38 points in his 36 games. Backed by junior assistant captain Nick Jones, leading the Laker defense with 23 points. Mercyhurst will prove to be a strong competitor against Holy Cross in the coming series. Well, first thing is Mercyhurst will bring a lot of speed uh, with their forward lines. They, they uh, play great in transition, and I don't know, um, obviously the people here wouldn't have seen our series out in Mercyhurst last year, but anyone who harkens back to last year, second semester, we played an unbelievable series here with them, and uh, they know how fast and skilled Mercyhurst is, and I'm sure they'll be bringing that to the heart center this weekend. Uh, very important that we stay out of the penalty box. Us and Mercyhurst are the two least penalized teams in the league, so we need to continue that, and hopefully they uh, they start taking some penalties this weekend. And both teams have very good power plays. Um, they're really big on D. They take up the middle of the ice very well. Um, and, you know, both Strang and Tibbetts, I don't know who we'll see. But we might see both of them as they both played last weekend. Uh, they're both excellent goaltenders, so we're going to have to get some traffic in front of the goalies if we're going to score some goals this weekend. As a team, Holy Cross has tasted many different levels of playoffs and proven that they can come out strong. The hockey class of 2013 has played in 11 playoff games to date, including first round, quarterfinal, and semifinal games. Within each of these games, the class faced many different situations that now they can overcome to create a better end result. With this experience leading the Crusaders, the team believes that they have what it takes this year to defeat the Lakers and advance to the semifinal games. I think it'll benefit our team greatly. I know uh, we've had our ups and downs in the playoffs, and we've also seen a lot of different situations, so I think the senior class will be prepared and ready for that. And, uh, I know also the juniors have seen a lot of those uh, situations as well, so I think uh, we'll be ready to go for whatever uh, comes our way this weekend. The Holy Cross community showed their support throughout the season with the animated displays by fans. The fan section rallies the team and keeps the energy high throughout the rink. The team hopes to keep the student section filled and the fan support high for this coming series. I think that over the last two years we've really started to build quite a um, crowd support, especially amongst the students and the local people here in Worcester. Uh, it's it's huge. I mean, we've had a great home record, and a lot of that is due to kind of that uh, crowd urgings and things that we get in the third period when we play uh, at the Hart Center. This weekend, we're going to need it. Uh, Mercer is a very good team, and for us, um, you know, having that support with the students and a real fun atmosphere and environment will play a uh, critical role, I think, in the, in the weekend. Um, you know, in the, the athletic department is doing a great job. All the students that come, 
they have to buy the tickets because it's a playoff game, but uh, everyone who buys a ticket is eligible for a raffle for a 32-inch television, which I'm sure the kids will be excited about. Plus, as we just confirmed, we'll be putting 15 pizzas up into the crowd each night in the second period so the guys can eat while they're there too. Looking forward to the upcoming weekend, the Crusaders hope to secure two wins to advance to the semifinals in Rochester, New York. Come out and show your support for Holy Cross Athletics. With GoHolyCross.com, I'm Emily Correa.